In our worldview today, Russia has launched sweeping military exercises in the face of mounting pressure from NATO and the U.S. over the Kremlin's military buildup along its border with Ukraine. More than 20 warships conducted maneuvers along with air defense in the Black Sea, while ships deployed to the Barents Sea to protect a major shipping lane in the Arctic. This comes as NATO moves its troops into the region to counter Russia's growing military presence. The U.S. has also placed soldiers on alert. Over at the White House, the president has said he would consider direct sanctions on Russian President Vladimir Putin if he attacks Ukraine. Russia has amassed 100,000 troops along its border with the country, leading to fears of an imminent attack. Denmark is looking to scrap all COVID-19 restrictions next week, despite high infection counts in the country. It reported nearly 47,000 new cases on Tuesday, just below its peak last Friday. But Denmark's health minister says it is time to go back to business as usual. That means nightclubs can reopen. Restaurants will now be allowed to serve alcohol after 10 p.m. Vaccine passes and face masks will no longer be required on buses. The changes are still subject to parliamentary approval. And it comes just days after the UK, Ireland and the Netherlands announced similar measures. And British police have arrested two more people in connection with that standoff at a Texas synagogue earlier this month. The latest arrests were made in the cities of Manchester and Birmingham, bringing the total number of people in custody in the country to four. A man claiming to have planted bombs disrupted Shabbat service on January 15th, taking four people hostage. That led to an 11-hour standoff with Texas police. Officials shot and killed the suspect, though the hostages survived. And the FBI has said they are treating the incident as an act of terrorism and hate crime.